Analysis by our bone expert Trenton Holliday suggests there's a hint in the skeleton. When we look at this individual, looking at the left arm, it's muscled, it's nothing to sneeze at, but moving around to the right arm, the right arm is quite impressive. The muscle markings are much more clear, indicating this individual was very powerful on the right side, more powerful than on the left. When we move down to the forearm, we see something that is really extraordinary. Notice the curving or the bowing of this radius. This corresponds to powerful muscles that flex the wrist and flex the fingers, such that Neanderthals had a very powerful grip. Even the pinky has flexor ridges that show that the pinky was just as strong as the other fingers, making for a powerful grasping hand. So the bones show that our Neanderthal had one arm far stronger than the other. And go. Excellent. To see how this difference in arm strength might have related to hunting, anthropologist Steve Churchill has devised an experiment. Get the gauges. One possibility is that they're getting that kind of difference in strength from side to side through thrusting spears. And by thrusting this into something, we can tell how much force is going to each limb that the spear thruster is using. And we can actually determine if this two-handed behavior is in fact stressing one limb more than the other. The data from this experiment shows that thrusting a spear could explain the marked difference in muscle development from one arm to the other. And especially the extreme power of our Neanderthal's right forearm. So it turns out what we found from this experiment is that in fact you can get differences from side to side with a two-handed behavior. In my case and in most people's case, the left hand was used as a guiding hand. The dominant limb was used to provide the force of the thrust, the drive. Evidence from the skeleton and the spear itself suggests that Neanderthals were ambush hunters. Silently stalking their prey. Creeping with a thrusting spear to within striking distance. Here was a carnivorous predator with an insatiable hunger for meat. From the evidence so far, our Neanderthal was shaping up to be the brute of legend, just as the traditional saga had told. So did this mean that he really was inferior to modern humans? Our simple-minded, primitive cousin. <laughs>